Hey, this is Dan from TrueTrader.net with a recap for February 6th, 2020. This is going to be a pretty quick recap, just three trades, nothing crazy. Our first trade was on Netflix, long, at 362.7, right at the lows. Now, I know this may look crazy, like, how would you get this at the low? Well, whoever was in the room saw this live in real time, and it's all there. So, uh, Netflix, 362.70, long, sold one half for plus two and one half for plus 2.5 netflix was all done next trade was on pm now pm was a funny one because on pm this one took all day now anyways pm on pm we got short at 86 90s and had an ad to short more at 89 30s the ad was missed by 50 cents now if that ad got hit and our orders got filled, our average would have been in the low to mid 88s, which then would have been a wonderful, wonderful short. Now, regardless, even though we started early at 86.90s, PM has a float of 1.5 billion, okay? Now, when this thing was trading in the pre-market, after earnings, after the conference call, between 84s and 85s, you know, a push from 84s up into 87s, 88s, almost 89s, that's unsustainable and people are going to take profits. I mean, if there is a float of 1.5 billion, even if just 1% of the people holding PM take profits, that's 15 million shares of sell side pressure. Okay, so on PM, I was not worried at all that we started early and our ad was missed. Actually, when it came down, I was really hoping that it would push back up where we can then add against 8860 against the high for a double top with the fact that it's going to act so heavy today, again, with the float being 1.5 billion, right? The large cap stocks, the high floats, these things, when they have quick spikes like this, you're going to see an all day type of fade move. Okay. It's just how it works. So I was so confident in this trade. I was not worried at all that our ad was missed by just a few dimes. And as well, right here, our 8860s ad that was moved down from 8930s was also missed by just about 40 cents, which it's pretty annoying that our ads were missed twice in a row. But you know, it's part of the game. Sometimes you're just not going to get those perfect entries, which it happens. Not a big deal because our plan was to hold for 86 20s and mid to high 85s again with the idea that it's going to be an all day type of fade with the float being so high and all the news out of the way this move from 84s to 88s is going to come back down to at least low 86s that just happens uh, more often than not and again it's, it's a no-brainer short there's really zero risk if you're shorting up in the spike absolutely no risk at all really i mean i was so confident in this trade that I told them, I don't care if this takes all day. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to add more. It's that easy. If you puke this out for whatever reason, that's because you weren't confident in the trade and you had no idea why we were taking it in the first place. PM, the idea again was the float is so high and this type of move is unsustainable. And on the daily chart, it's coming up like from 84s into 88, 89 into resistance. It's going to pull back at least 30 to 50% back down to 86s. That's just how it works, guys. Now, again, our ads did not come. We did not get filled more shorts up in the 88s or 89s. That sucks. Missed it by a few dimes. It happens. But it came back down to our 86 30s, 86 20s, and I actually exited right near the close. I took off half an hour prior to close just in case we ran out of time, 86 50s, and then I took off the rest. 86.20s. Yep, got the bottom tick. That was pretty sweet. 86.20 and 86.20, I think 26 or 28. I need to check the orders, but was all done PM 86.50s and 86.20s from 86.90s. Again, would have had a wonderful short trade if the 89s came, didn't come. That's okay. Uh, still made a pretty nice gain. And our last trade of the day was on SDGR on the IPO. We bought the first pullback into the close for the bounce.
that's it. We bought 2850s, 20, I got 2860s here on SDGR. I bought 2860s right in here. I was gonna sell for one point, I was uh, offering 2960, missed that by like five, six cents. And um, yeah, it is what it is. I'm getting out of it at the moment and after hours. I'm gonna sell some pre-market, but I'm pretty sure I'll get out of most of it for roughly a 40 to 50 cents gain. I bought a 2860s. It's just the IPO, the first pullback into the end of the day. More often than not, it gets bounced back up. That's what we did. I bought one half at 2860, um, 5,000, and I was bidding the rest at 2715. If the 27s came, that would have been a wonderful long, but it didn't come. So um, we took what we got, 2860 to 2950. Um, some people got this. I didn't get this. I missed it again by five cents. And uh, again, I'm exiting it right now at the moment and after hours. So three trades, three greens. There were also a handful of other trades that were really close to coming to our entries, but just missed by a few cents to a buck. And like, for example, like iRobot, we missed this. I was uh, looking to sell this 59, high 59s against 60 for a short back down, missed that by about a point and a half or so. That would've been awesome. And uh, MYO, for example, looking to buy this at 2050, uh, missed that by a point and a half and I gave a four point bounce. I mean, there's just a handful of trades that were missed today that um, came close and gave a nice uh, reaction off the level, but didn't quite get there. Now, if all of those came, this would've been a sweet day, but nonetheless, regardless, pretty nice day. Again, all greens, can't complain. Wish you all a wonderful night and I'll see you tomorrow.